Hey, this is Scott Wellington. I'm uh, trying to do another video and uh, um, about my life. It's boring to me. It's probably boring to everybody, but I get views and get emails, so I keep doing it. So, picking up where I left off, I, I made it through the skull surgery and made it through my coma. And now the real work for me began. There were many people that helped me to accomplish things, but uh, the real work for me, where I had to face myself, face my own demons, um, that all began. At first, I learned how to breathe on my own, and the wonderful nurses and medical staff took care of everything else. They fed me, they, you know, took care of everything, gave me sponge baths, and I'm not trying to be creepy about that, but they took care of everything else. All I focused on was learning how to breathe. And um, once I had breathing down, I relearned how to feed myself. Um, I had, uh, uh, I'm very, very, very left-handed. I'm very left-handed. And they kept me, as I talked in my last um, little video, I tried to escape. And so they handcuffed me and foot kept me to the bed. Now what they did was they unhandcuffed my right hand only and let me try to feed myself. And I was missing a lot. <laughs> I was like putting food everywhere. And um, Luckily, someone I knew came in the room and told the nurse and said, hey, he's left-handed, maybe you should try that. And so they re-handcuffed my right hand and freed up my left hand, and that was very, very helpful. I was much better about that, but it took me a while, and I retrained myself after I had gotten breathing down. I retrained myself how to eat, and I felt miserably quite a few times, but I always had the nurses right there to make sure that... At least some food went into me, <laughs> you know, and I'm very grateful for the doctors for saving my life, but I'm very grateful for the nurses and medical staff that taught me how to live. It's um, very important. So anyway, I retrained myself how to, how to breathe and how to eat, and then I retrained myself how to at least sit up so that and get into a wheelchair transfer into a wheelchair and that took me a while and i did a lot of that because um i was stubborn <laughs> it was like and i've been independent my whole life so i didn't know how to not do that having other people i'm very grateful for all of the medical staff that helped me but everyone that uh, helped me, it, it was very hard for me to be able to allow people to help me. I was very independent, so I taught myself how to be in a wheelchair. And uh, I went from, you know, I had doctors tell me right to my face I was going to be a vegetable and be bedridden in my whole life. And that's all they could do. I was lucky to be alive, which I'm not arguing, I'm lucky to be alive. But I disagreed. I was like, I'm not going to just be a bedroom vegetable. And so I retrained myself how to be in a wheelchair. And that took me quite a while. It's quite tricky to transfer from a bed to a wheelchair. And then I worked very hard and I fell very often. And I taught myself how to use a walker. And if I could walk 18 inches unassisted with no help, it was a big deal and a good day. Now, shoot, 18 inches, that's about 12 inches. You figure about half that again. 18 inches wasn't very far, um, but it was a good day. And the, the therapist that, uh, that helped me, I was very lucky because when I couldn't walk, um, they would, the physical therapist would literally come in and time myself to them so I had one under each arm, men, physical therapists, and they would take me for a walk. And it was just to give me range of motion. It was to help me move and use my ankles and my knees and my hips. And uh, they, I'm very grateful to them as well. 
And because they did that, that has provided me to be able to have the freedom I have now. Otherwise, I'd be just, I'd be a kind of a human rock and just stuck where I was at. Um, but anyway, if I walked on my own 18 inches unassisted with no one helping me, no one carrying me, I was just in between, you've probably seen the videos of those people, I had bars on each side of me, wooden bars on each side of me. But if I could walk 18 inches on those, that was a good day. That was a big, big, huge day. And uh, that uh, I, <laughs> I've been through more than I gave myself credit for. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop here and I'll tell you more in my next video, but I do appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the messages. Um, but even people writing, I see a lot of people getting negative messages as I look around and I just don't, I don't, I don't really understand that because that's just more effort and it doesn't make sense. If you don't agree with what they have to say you don't have to do anything just keep scrolling and for people because I've gotten negative messages and it's like when I came out of my coma you weren't there you weren't helping me you weren't assisting me so you really don't affect me now and I'm going to keep that same attitude my whole life if someone wants to be negative and be against me that's fine but it doesn't affect me and I hope it doesn't affect anyone out there. I hope it, that everyone follows their dreams and uh, is brave, you know? So I'm gonna sum it up with be a leader, be positive, and be optimistic. And I'll add more to the story later. Thank you.